Welcome to the testing world. That is the second session of the case study one in which we are going to create test case two. And here are the requirements. So we need to perform the case two with the 10 users and all users are hitting server in the span of one minute. So I'm moving to the J meter and here I'm going to create a new thread group test case 2 here we need to hit with the 10 users and all the users are going to hit server in the span of 1 minute means 60 seconds so I'm applying 60 seconds over here user are visiting 3 pages and again my URL could be changed in future that keep that need to be keep in mind so I'm going to add three samplers because we need to hit three pages rq1 rq2 RQ 3 and now I'm going to pick the URL of my application so first I'm going to hit my home page again this is the URL pasting over here and then URL of my JMeter tutorials so that is the URL of the JMeter tutorial Pick it from there and in the request to we need not to write http over here so i'm removing the http and in request 3 we are going to hit soap ui so that's the url now as per the requirement so my url could be changed in future so rather than writing the base URL in all the requests again and again, I'm going to add one config element, which is HTTP request default. And I'll place the base URL in this HTTP request default. So now in my request, I'm just going to add relative URL. So here on the home page, we don't have any relative URL. So just forward slash here this is my relative url so i pasted the relative url over here and now here is my relative url so added so two requirement has been done like i'm going to hit with the 10 users and all the user hitting server in the span of one minute users are visiting three pages and one more point that I have covered that my URL could be changed so that need to be uh, considered so we have considered already and we have added base URL in this HTTP request default so in future if my URL get changed we can uh, add the new URL over here now one more important requirement is that all the users are hitting all the pages at same time a very common scenario which we are going to face in our uh, real-time work like first all the 10 users will hit this request one and then requirement is that all the 10 users will hit the requirement two at the same time but problem over here is like when the 10 user are coming on the request one it is possible that for the three or four users response is coming from the server so they are moving to the request two but rest of the users are still on the request one but the requirement is that all the users must hit request two on same time and then all the users must hit request three on same time so how to implement that to implement that we have a timer and the name of the timer is synchronizing timer 
So I'm adding a synchronizing timer over here and I'm setting like I want 10 users on this timer. But again, the priority of the timer is more than sampler priority. So when we execute this test case, first it is going to execute my timer and then sampler. I want this timer to be executed before the request 2. So I'm adding this as a child of the request 2. So all the 10 users will hit request 1 and then it will go to the request 2 but the priority of the timer is more than sampler. So all the 10 users will come on the synchronizing timer. And here we have set until we got 10 users on this timer don't allow any of the user to move ahead so it will stop or it will pause all the users on this timer until it reached to the 10 user and once the 10 user come over here then it will allow all the users to hit request 2. In the same way before request 3 I want all the users to stop and until all the 10 users are coming and then all the 10 users will hit request 3 at same time. So I'm adding synchronization timer over here as well. So synchronizing timer and again for 10 users. So we have implemented this. All the users are hitting all the pages at same time. Verify all the requests should perform their task within the 5 seconds. So I want to make an assertion in which I want that all the users are performing their task in 5 seconds. Means we are getting the response from the server in 5 seconds. And I want to implement that assertion on all the requests. So I'm adding a assertion on the test case level that is duration assertion and I'm expecting that all the response should come within 5 seconds. Here I'm giving the time in the milliseconds. Next is we should not get error or warning text in the response. So again we want to validate that response should not contain error warning. So I'm adding response assertion. And text response should not contains error or warning. And now I want to generate tabular report with the graph. So at the end, we are going to use a listener which is aggregate graph listener. So everything is done and I'm running it. So we can check the result over here. 10 users will be applied on my server in 60 seconds. So in every 6 seconds, one user is going to the request 1. So here you can see in every 6 seconds, one user is going to the request 1. So by this way, we are implementing that my all the users are not coming on the application at the same time. They are coming to the application in a linear way like in every 6 second one user is coming to the application. And once all the user came on my application then it is going to the request 2 but because of the synchronization timer all the requests are going to the server at the same time and same with Request 3, all the users are hitting request 3 at the same time. All the 10 users are hitting request at the same time. So here is the result that we are getting. And to display graph, here is the option to display graph. And we can see on a request 1, this much of average time. And request 2 and then request 3. If you want to see any other time, like I want to see minimum and max time as well. So I selected this and again generate a graph. So here it shows for request 1 average time was this minimum maximum and same for the request 2 and request 3.
So we have implemented test case two of our case study. And in the next session, we are going to implement this test case three. In this session, we have covered this test case two only. Thanks for watching this video.